to Gaming Passage of Cow Gamer here. Today we're going to play a new game called Beanie. And so I've heard of uh, this game along with its sequel, Super QE 64, and they're all based on Rare Wars, Donkey Kong Country, and Banjo Kazooie. And I I played both of them, both of those games, and they're really, really, really good. I recommend trying checking it out. Uh, but anyways, we're going to play some uh, Beanie. I just want to see how this goes. All right, Kiwi's Workshop. Oh, hey there, Beanie. Listen, can you do me a favor? I see, see, I am building a raft right now. I already got the best planks around from McBat. Oh, McBat. Well, I am lacking some good glue from them. You think you could bring me some of that special honey from the woods? Yeah, so apparently, I guess Kiwi needs uh, glue, but the glue he needs is uh, honey. And and I seen the creator, I seen the creators, um, you know, like what games he made. Uh, yeah, like I said, Super Kiwi 64. There's also Macbat, which Macbat and the other character, I forgot what its name was, but so, it starts with a T. But um. But that's essentially what uh, that whole, uh, it's, it's basically kind of like Rareware games mixed with like, kind of like Super Monkey Ball. But, okay, let's get, let's get the crowd right here. First level, okay. Oh, it's, but, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, so, okay. So it's just the arrow keys, and I know this is- I heard this was- this was partially controller supported, which I really wish it was fully controller supported, then we could have mapped the, the buttons. But to be honest, uh, most of the buttons uh, you really need is move and jump. Yeah. Reminds me you can play this, uh, oh there's the snail enemies. You look like one of the tough snails from Spongebob. Uh, Beanie looks really, really cool here. I like the pre- I like the pre-rendered graphics here. Yeah, that's what Donkey Kong Country did. Okay. Wow. Oh. I guess that's how levels end. Ant accumulation. Alright. Oh, what is that? Come on. Yeah, I don't you can get hurt by enemies, but oh. Okay. Yeah, I guess they're treadmills. Okay. <laughs> this is a really fun game. Really do. Really like it. Gotta roll a bit. I wish there was oh 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 bees. Okay. I wish there was some. I wish they'd done created done more a little bit with the game. Not make it full fledged, but like not make it like a full fledged uh, game. Kind of like DK64 was like fleshed out like really uh, really broadly, but like. Come on. But I but I think like at some secrets in this game. I really hope uh Snowman uh, Gaming, Snowman 64, whatever his name was. No man I think it was I think it was Snowman. Oh! <laughs> I think it was Snowman Gaming. He really likes uh, a bunch of rare. Uh, he, he, oh no! He likes uh, the rareware games a whole lot. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. He really likes Donkey Kong uh, Country, along with Uncle Al. And, oh. Okay. Okay. These are bees that bounce, I guess. Right. 
Alright. Nice. This looks simple. I guess this is the only uh, controls you really need. Oh, oh. Move and jump. I think, um... If this game, uh, if someone actually out there make this into a full-fledged Super Nintendo game, uh, I think it could work, actually. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, I, I believe it could work. Just need a someone- ah. Oh. I mean, I know this game's out, out for Switch, uh, but same thing with Ukulele. Oh. Okay. And I like the music. Like, I really do like the music here. Oh, what? Oh, they're like ninja stars. Okay. Okay. Okay, all the movement is based on momentum. Every movement is based on momentum. I guess that's how this game works. Because you can't move around, uh... You can't change directions in midair. Or something like that. Because uh, that's, com that's common in most games, including Cuphead. Cuphead is like the biggest... Cuphead is like the... Is like big in that factor, because, well, it's... Fast pace, essentially. Name was Donkey Kong. Oh no! Oh okay. Okay, I thought. Oh, it just bounces. It just. Oh, it just. Okay, all the enemies just shove you back. Okay. Oh, not bad. Okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. Honestly. I don't think I'll ever rage at this game. At all. Unless there's something really new it has. Alright. Right now it's almost spring, so. Uh, oh! Yeah, right now it's almost spring, so, like, there's gonna be a lot of insects and, like. Uh... Uh, oh! Okay, the moss uh, changes your. Okay. Okay, you can't. Maybe. You can't mini hop. Okay, you can't mini hop around. Okay, that that's understandable. Because if you try to mini hop, it's gonna it, because it, the smallest jump you can do also is a bit too high if you're. Okay. Oh, not bad. Oh, it's a, oh, sneaky, sneaky. Oh my god. That's sneaky. <laughs> I like this a whole lot, actually. I like, the, I like the graphics, too, actually. Again, it's pre-rendered. Uh-oh. Oh! Thank God I have those bees. Because I don't think... It's not like those kind of games where it like kind of pummels you to the ground. Because it failed. Oh, it's like the Parabeetles from uh, Super Mario. At least the big ones. Because the small ones... The small ones make you... Uh, come on. The small ones, uh, you have to... You have to, like, ride the, the small ones because... Uh, the small ones let you fly higher. And the big ones uh, actually, like, fall down. Oh! That's a little thing I really like. Wait, what's that? What the heck is that? Another character, maybe? Right. So I pl so I plan to uh, play uh, this game and uh, Super Kiwi 64, uh, and that should be it. I mean, I seen a little bit of the I seen previews of the other games, and I don't think they're too like. I don't think they're. I don't think they would work as, like, um, good episodes. I don't think they will turn out as good videos. Uh, in my own opinion, I don't think it will turn out as great as like, I would think. Uh, but that, that could be the judge of anyone. Anyone could uh, say, uh, oh, this is a bit different. 
be fine. Uh, can I, uh, jump up there? Alright. Kinda sad there's only, like, a couple of music and there's no fanfare music. Like, da dun da dun da Has that signature like '90s rareware um, spookiness? Because every game from the most games, like a bunch of rareware games, have something terrifying in them. Have something terrifying in them to make it like childhood trauma. It's like, oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot what, what the YouTuber I was talking about. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh. Okay. That was interesting. Yeah, that's the signature uh, rareware, uh, uh, ter uh, terrifying, the horror element. Just that terrifying uh, feeling. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. And there's no bees to protect me either. I did it. Silent visitors, rising rain. Fortunately, uh, uh, this next level, we're back to basics. Oh gosh. Oh, come on. Alright. Come on. Oh, I really... The mo okay, I guess these moss uh, platforms are gonna give me, like, a, a little bit of pain. I gotta time the jumps too. Like that, right there. The jumps like that don't, uh. Um, sometimes, uh, you gotta plan your jumps correctly. Oh boy. I really like, uh, Beanie here. Pretty adorable, actually. Like, that's a big beat. I don't... I should tell this really cool story about, uh... Me finding, like, this large bee. Like... I, yeah. So, I remember as a kid... I went in my backyard, and I saw a bee, and it was... Basically, the size of my hand, right here. It was basically almost the size of my palm. And it was really, it was really big, and it barely could fly, but it can still buzz like, bzzz, like the, bzzz, like it, it was, it was like this low buzzing noise, like it was trying to fly, but uh, it, it couldn't, it could, it could barely move, it could barely move at all, but like, I mean, I mean it was walking, but it, but it couldn't fly because. Uh, because of the sheer weight and the wings are tiny. On the yeah, the wings are really tiny. On the thing. So kind of like Beanie here, uh, it's just like wow. Like he has like small wings and all he can really do is roll. All right. Final level, Spikey's Revenge. These levels are pretty short, but they are interesting to look at because of the pre graphics. I don't think they also. I also think. I also don't think they knock off. Uh, knock you off on the platforms. Which is uh, good. knock you off the platforms. But they, they stun you, but to be honest, there's really nothing, uh, you know. So I'm kind of, I, it is interesting how this game doesn't have a lives mechanic. 
Actually, to be honest, Nintendo's the, uh, actually, no. To be honest, most games don't have a life mechanic anymore. I think Rareware were like the first, uh, oh, first, uh, game developers to, uh, uh, in, to my knowledge, they, uh, oh my goodness. To my knowledge, I don't think they, uh, they had, uh, They're like the only, the very first game company to, uh, oh yeah, first game company to, uh, to like, um, remove lives. DK64 and Banjo-Tooie don't have any lives whatsoever, and the other Donkey Kong games, Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3, uh, in order to like, save or get lives, you have to pay, like, like with, uh, the coins, which is, uh, Interesting. Uh, interesting for get unlike uh, you know, or say ever, ever after every checkpoint, you uh, have to pay, pay sparingly. Kiwi Spark Shop. Oh, that is all the honey I need. Thank you so much, Beanie. Now I can finish my raft. You see, there is this weird floating island in the middle of the ocean. I don't know where it came from, but I am eager to take a closer look. Just wait here a moment. I have the raft going in no time. And so Kiwi finished his raft and made way for the strange floating island. With a big, round farewell, Beanie said goodbye to her, her friend. Oh, Beanie is a, um... Beanie's a girl bee. Okay. After a whole day on the ocean, the goal was finally in sight. The island in the sky, floating above the dark and clear ocean water. I thought you said it was an island. It's a floating island. Well, wait, what now? How did, how did I get up there? Wondered Kiwi. Almost as the answer. Almost as to answer his question. A big and growling gust. Gust of wind grabbed the raft and tear it apart. Kiwi got thrown out the sky like nothing more but a tree leaf during an autumn storm. Everything turned dark for a while until Kiwi opened his eyes again, and... A strange dog looked down on him and greeted him. Wakey wakey, eggs and bakey! I don't know how you got here, but welcome to the end of the world, laddie. Come on now, get up! I could really need your help. The Whoa! What? What? Hold on. Hold on. Whoa, when did this game become, uh, I guess this is the precursor to the- Alright. Alright. Hope oh, everyone doesn't mind that the mouse is, like, on the screen. So yeah, this is bas essentially Banjo-Kazooie. I did say I really hope someone can port this to the Super Nintendo. Then, uh, I realized, you know what, maybe this section probably wouldn't work. Oh, the right, the right mouse button is, uh, the fixed camera. Oh. Who are you? Wow, this is really well done. The music still sounds, um, still has that Super Nintendo feel. Almost. It's not really a collect-a-thon at most. It's more of, why well, you fell from the sky, but there are more important things. Yeah. There should be around five energy cells here. If you ever want to, uh, get off this highway. Hmm. I think I collected all the gears, unless there's, like, some hidden ones. Or he's patch up right back to my workshop. Okay. Oh. Oh! Oh, oh, okay, I, th I thought you had to hold it, but no, you just click, click, and it, like, in whatever direction, uh...
Okay, that makes a whole lot more sense, actually. Let me just... Uh, this last energy cell real quick. There we go. I think I collected all the gears. I don't think there's really... Yeah, I don't think there's any more to collect. So I got all the gears. And, uh, can I climb up here? There's gotta be something up there. Oh no, it's probably just... Yeah, it's just those big megaphones. Alright. Ah, you got them! I like how he slides. Perfect, laddie. Those will help us a big deal and, well, whatever. Come on, I'll show you my workshop and a way to get you back home. Kiwi story continues in Super Kiwi 64. Wow. So I guess this is really the end of the, uh... Yeah. This is the end of the, uh... That's me as a medal. Wow, this is really, uh, pretty much the end of this, uh, game. It's a small game, but there's actually more to this. So, believe it or not, there's actually more to this. See you next game. <laughs> right, there's... With Kiwi gone with this adventure, Beanie decided to go for some extra challenge to collect the time medals in each level. Including a completely new, no new level? Yes! Yes, as you saw, there is a time travel- time trials. There's a time trial, uh, game. Time trial mode. Let's see. He was not here anywhere. I wonder how his trip went. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to do this. Oh, crud. Hold on real quick. Back. Okay, so apparently if you go back to Kiwi's uh, factory, it just plays the ending again. So... <clears throat> so, we're gonna uh, tackle the time trials, and now, I'm not good with time trials, alright? So this is probably my first time trying to do... Oh, oops, okay. I have done time trials and like, Crash Bandicoot a little bit, and then some in like Mario Kart, but uh, I never really tackled too much. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is just uh, just kind of cruise on to the levels. And to be honest, uh, the levels aren't too bad. Yes, I fell several times, or like at least fell off the platform, but everything was hunky-dorky. Yeah, these... I think the first level isn't too bad, actually. Plenty... Uh... Yeah, right there! Boom! Yeah, okay, it shows you. Sometimes I always forget that, like, I have to move... ...the arrow keys. I also use w WASD. But, uh, well, for the Kiwi, uh, for the Kiwi, uh, game, but, uh... At least the Kiwi game. But, uh, here it's... Here it's like, uh, you desperately need the, uh... You need to use the arrow keys. Yeah! That was close. Yeah, right about now. Okay. This one I uh, had some trouble right there. You cannot mess up in some of these levels. That's the thing about most of these uh, games. Uh, time trials specifically, like ca oh. I think Katakris explains it well, is that, like, if you gotta make no room for error, and you, uh... And if you do make an error, uh, that's it. You lose your one chance. Essentially. Like, right there. You gotta make some, uh, short... You gotta time the, uh... Bounces up. Can you bounce higher with these guys? 
No, no, you can't. I don't think there's a difference, honestly. It's not wrong. Oh, yeah, those um, edges of the platform. Uh... Oh, yeah, I don't think it makes a difference. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, that's good. Oh, no. Uh, that's like it's no difference, honestly. Because that's just uh, it's just the game. Okay. All right, bounce. All right. Yeah. I think the green, these giant green bees, and probably the pink ones is where I'll probably have the more issues with oh, right there I see messed up right there I can't take too long I have to make sharp uh, moves yeah <laughs> this might be uh, a bit difficult so it spikes but can't be too Actually, you know, yeah, these are smaller platforms that I have to add, get through because there's not a lot of space for error, which is perfectly fine. Oh, yeah. And there's also the uh, occasional... Oh! Okay, I guess they just, they just nudge you a tiny bit, but not too much. But, like, sometimes if you're near the platform, it, it is noticeable, actually. Oh, boy. Oh. And just like... And just like Rareware, um... Um... I like how the character does... Oh, please! Oh, it's not good. Sometimes I have to wait. Okay, sometimes uh, platforms are not necessary, essentially. What, why did I chicken out? Actually, some, come to think of it, the music here reminds me a whole lot of Sturdy Valley. Like, a little bit. It has a, has a little bit of Sturdy Valley. It has that Sturdy Valley feel. A little bit. That's awesome. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh no! Please, 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 please! Yes! Woo! Oh, this is the one I'll probably have more trouble with because these boss platforms, they're not like that annoying, but it is, it does get you right there. It will get you. I keep forgetting that's, uh, that's not like an obstacle. That's just there to trick you. Like that. With the, these moss platforms, the momentum you have uh, also affects your jump, which is which is understandable. Some rareware games also have that. A lot of Super Nintendo games have that. This game specifically is just like, yeah. This game, yeah, just casually like go with the flow. I think that's the best tip for uh, 
this game in general. Just go with the flow and just jump. And eventually you're gonna ace this. These ones I have to like jump. Unlike the green ones. Yeah. This one's also not as bad. What is that? Is that supposed to be like a Banjo Kazooie knockoff? It looks like the uh, no, that that uh, cr that creature uh, that's sitting on the side looked like uh, looked like a Yoshi mixed with like the nerds mascots and with the parrot. Scarlet Macaw to be exact. Whoa, I did not realize I was running out of time. This one might be a crazy one. Yeah, those skeletons or those statues remind me of Killer Instinct. I'm just referencing um, a whole bunch of uh, I'm just referencing a whole bunch of Rareware games, kind of like in uh, My Friendly Neighborhood, I was referencing a whole bunch of Jim Henson works. It was funny. There's the uh, ghostly face! Alright. Yo! Exactly! Right on time! I think these last two are gonna be painful. Come on, get up. All right, get up. All right, let's try this again. Oh, oh. Just keep your momentum with the jumps, then I think you, yeah, again, you just ace it. Yeah. Just be casual about it. That's what I'm doing right now. Not really precise on the jumps. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's go. Come on, jump up. I messed up on the jumps a little bit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh! Come on. Alright. Hop along. Here. Don't stress about the uh, treadmills, because the treadmills are going to be... The conveyor belts treadmills are going to be painful. Like right there. <laughs> like I messed... Like just right there, I just messed up a little bit. At 
least some of the jumps gave me a tiny bit of a boost. Okay, I, I can't jump for some reason. That part, I just couldn't jump. So, let's just try again. No momentum's there, but it's not. It be perfectly angled. Because the momentum from, like, the... It reminds me a whole lot of the wind from, uh, from, uh... Mar Super Mario the Lost Levels, it messes up on your jumps, but the, at least the wind has no issues. This right here is just kind of like, uh, it's just moves, moves, what, like, whatever, like, around there. Just roll, 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 roll. Sometimes I have to mini hop, I guess. And I messed up already. Yeah, mini hop, and that's what I'm trying to do. All right. Oh. Like right there, I did a little bit much better. Oh, it slid me off. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Boom! I'll probably look into it later. This one probably is also a bit difficult because of the spikies. The spikies probably weren't that big of an issue, despite me being nudged off. But I guess, uh, yeah. Oh, and there's uh, treadmills, but the treadmills aren't aren't hugely an issue. And it's just, uh, oh yeah, I should do the mini hops a little bit. Okay. Oh, wait. oh, oh no, no, oh. Oh wait, the momentum of the... Oh, hang on, I could use the uh, spikies uh, as an advantage to uh, boost me uh, boost me in the, what direction. Sometimes. Okay, let's go. Yeah, right there. Sometimes it's the opposite direction, it really depends. It's kind of like... Um, I'm just referencing. I'm just I'm just saying it's kind of like that. I'm just referencing whatever because everything about this and uh, my friendly neighborhood is just references and references, and that's just funny. specifically sounds a lot like Stardew Valley. Yeah, not as bad. Surprisingly. The Rising Rains one's probably the, a little difficult. Probably difficult. The last one is not even that bad. Season Friends. Oh! Oh! It's a Christmas episode! It's a Christmas, uh, level. I should have played this during Christmas if I, uh, knew. But it's alright. Happy... Happy... Happy March mess, I guess. Because, uh, I guess that's when this episode's gonna be, uh, released. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Sometimes I hate the... Oh. I mean, I don't hate the pink, uh, the pink bees. It's just that, like, eh. Uh, yeah, sometimes I forget that I have to jump. On them and sometimes so uh, yeah like that it doesn't land correctly so I have to 
Uh, jump off and then come back up. Oh, oh, oh. Thank God they saved me. Oh, all right. Oh, this is the one. Tori, I don't know where Tori made a surprise visit. Tori came and double jump. Oh. All right. I'm gonna find every button combination I, I just did. Oh, it's shift, okay. Now, now I could put, I could like, I wonder if there's like the speed and if the speed running, um, uh, I forgot what that website's called, but I wonder if the speed running, um, I wonder if people can speed run this game and put their like score up here, because that's pretty much cool. That's, uh, yeah, that'll be pretty interesting. Uh, there's really nothing else to this game. It's a short, it's kind of like a demo, essentially, something for something for your kids to kind of enjoy or if you have a couple minutes to spare then i guess this is uh i guess this is the game you should try um but i i generally like this game i i applaud to like the creator uh for making an homage to uh the rareware games and just the whole lot a whole lot of the box right here and uh, i appreciate them for doing all that and i uh, hope the best for the new for, for the future for making brand new games for us to play on Steam or Nintendo Switch. But anyways, hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you really liked the video, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment down below. For more comments like this, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, shout out to you know. And remember, if you don't have a cow, you got one now.